Oh, shit. Today, we're hooking up a teddy bear to the computer. And it likes it very much. Hi, I'm Kevin. I'm getting a polish. Cool. And I'm Tim Hildyard. <laughs> See? Easy! <laughs> and we're here to show you a hack that's weird, unusual, and the occasional use one too. Sometimes they work out really well, sometimes not so much. But either way, it's a fun way to learn about the technology that surrounds us every day. This is Funny Hacks. That noise makes the logo look good. Shut up! Sorry, this is not really necessary. <laughs> <laughs> I guess not. I guess not. Right, okay. So, what's the basic idea of this one? <laughs> the basic idea is, um, I was uh, having a few nights where I couldn't sleep because my head was full of ideas and all sorts of stuff. And so to try and get my mind from not thinking about ideas to thinking about something less... Uh, I, don't, I want to say less intelligent, but that's a bit insulting. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's a little bit pompous. Um, uh, I, to get my mind onto smaller matters, um, I, want to, I would just sort of watch various things on the computer, be it sort of various podcasts or whatever. Um, but I didn't want to have to get out of my bed because I had the uh, keyboard and mouse right beside me. Makes sense. Cool. Okay. Uh, now, I turn off, uh, as you might remember, I turn off the power to my computer at night. Yep. Uh, so therefore... Uh, when I go to turn it back on, wake on, uh, wake on USB doesn't work because the thing hasn't been initialized. Sure. Um, so what I wanted was a way of being able to push that power button without having to get out of bed. So uh, a the lazy I, man's dream, really. Isn't <laughs> <it>? <laughs> yeah. So I uh, I sort of thought about this and thought, well, hey, wouldn't it be cool to rewire it to, um, a stuffed teddy bear? and uh, make it so that when you squeeze the pore, the computer turns on, its eyes light up, and the eyes turn different colours depending on what you're doing with the computer. Naturally. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, yeah, so anyway, um, uh, this is just a stand-in sort of, um, hey, we're talking about a teddy bear yeah, it's a teddy type bear. thing. Um, it's not the teddy bear they use, but... Yeah, we're going to show you the actual real one in a few minutes, but... Um, uh, it's all nicely set up, and I didn't want to detach it. It's like over there. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, I was going to say another thing but I can't remember it so um, okay uh, yeah. basic risks involved fire oh shit fire okay yeah basically <laughs> um, working with a plush toy uh, with, with circuitry on the inside you're always well I mean there's always the fire risk if you're not uh, if you've got say a faulty wire or something sparks fly and you see this wire the close ah, of that. yes yes this now, wire um, that has bubbled all the way through yes so that shows you when you do some when you wire it up wrong, which I'd never do. Um, when you wire it up wrong, you can actually melt wires, and this is just using the um, the like three and five volt signals that we're getting from the motherboard. Now the reason why is because um, I had a shared line, so you you've got uh, all these different. Um, uh, you've got the different yeah, that's fine. The different wires uh, in the cable. I keep on stop it. I know you like me, but that's <laughs> just. I need to do the show, doggy. I haven't given the dog a name. Let's Stanley. Think about it. <laughs> Stanley the manly dog. <laughs> I like it. Not quite the angle I was going for. There. Anyway, let's continue. <laughs> I'm not going to make that joke. Um, so, uh, so yeah, there was. Um, so the, I had six lines in the uh, in the cable which I wanted to use. Sure. Six, six cores is the technical term. Uh, and so to do all the things that I needed to do, I needed to share some of the cables. Sure. Uh, now uh, it's very common that when you're doing this type of thing, you share the negative line or or the um, the ground or whatever you want to call it. Sure. Uh, my problem was is that um, when you're with a PC speaker, this was a PC speaker um, connection. Now, uh, if you short out the positive pin of this mm. with um, the ground of the power supply, sure. you get all sorts of circuits uh, made that you weren't actually uh, supposed to have, and you melt wires. Right. Okay. So, so th this yeah. takes us back to the <laughs> risk of fire. Yeah, melting wires inside your plush teddy bear, not a great idea. In fact, let's just quickly roll that clip. Oh. Yeah, I'm plugged that in. Oh, shit. It's been a while since I've done that. That gave me one hell of a fright. Oh, last time I did that was on a 286. And uh, that lived to tell the tale. Well, 
lived as much as a computer lives. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, as you can see, there was a lot of smoke in a small amount of time, so that is a very real risk. Um, the good thing about that, though, is that if you get it wrong, you're very likely to spot it quickly. <laughs> well, that's true. We'll have a flaming three-foot table. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and that, the computer was literally on for a couple of seconds there, so it was, uh, yeah. and it did this, so, yeah. I think we've said enough about risks, but they are, it's, this is something, it, it was several days of using this um, before I was happy to leave the computer unattended, just because I wanted to be absolutely certain that I hadn't sort of made any other mistakes that were similar. And if you're using a teddy bear that was your, your childhood teddy bear that you care very much for, best not a good idea. Right, uh, okay, basically how do we do it? Um, well, uh, I picked apart its bottom, and that sounds really bad like that, I think, but... Um, yeah, there's no way you can say that nicely, continue. Yeah, <laughs> I picked apart its bottom... <laughs> Sorry, Stop just repeating it, just <laughs> say it. <laughs> just, uh, I'm going to have to tell you a story after when we've turned off the cameras about childhood memory. Oh my god, are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> right, continuing on. Continuing right on, yep. So, yeah. Um, so once the bottom was open, I reached inside. And oh out. my god, this is just... Anyway, right, so we basically just... Uh, out the stuffing. Gutted the teddy bear, yeah. sure. Yeah. Uh, then I was... <laughs> Just continue. Just continue. Just continue. <laughs> I was able to reach inside. <laughs> and, uh, I, I then sort of turned it fairly much inside out, which still isn't getting any better. I fairly much drilled its eyes in the back of it so I could <laughs> oh get it. No, I can't do it. <laughs> okay, seriously. And then I ba basically, um, to make the eyes able to glow, um, what they look like is you've got sort of what looks like a button. Sure. And then there's a big knob sticking on the bottom of it. So right. if you screw into that knob, um, you can then, you've got a nice way of gluing the LED to the back of the light. Makes perfect okay. sense. the back of the eyes. Um, so I did that while the eyes were still in the, in the teddy bear. Um, there's a sort of, you increase your risk of losing the teddy bear or doing damage to the teddy bear, but you also reduce the amount of damage you're going to do the, to the teddy bear if you get it right. I got it right mostly. Um, so I did make a mistake. I went slightly too far, which meant that some of the, actually this is a bad example to look at, but um, yeah, that's a plastic they have knife, yeah. uh, on those sort of eyes. Um, that's actually a good thing to look for when you're looking for the teddy bear. Get the ones which have those sort of they're transparent so you can, like, on clear the front. half marble eyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so they actually have that dark spot on the back there, so it looks like a pupil. Um, so I drilled slightly too far and went slightly through the pupil, which means that you get this very slight evil twinkle in the um, in the eyes, <laughs> and that just that little actually, imperfections. That's what it's about. And it just it just fits with the whole thing really well. That little blue pupil. It does kind of look a little evil. Yeah, and so I ended up uh, I ended up uh, repeating that mistake on the other one just so it to both to even it up plus also just to. Uh, it's cool. Get a little something. Yeah. Um, so the other side of it is that, okay, well, we've got some really bright LEDs in here. Uh, plus, we're running the ones on the front of the case as well. Um, those ones on the case are fairly low power LEDs. Sure. But now we're adding two more high power ones in there as well. Um, so yes, it'll probably work fine by um, hooking it all up directly, but there is a chance that, oh hey, we're drawing too much uh, current through the circuit, and so therefore um, the thing that the controller circuit on the motherboard may get unhappy with too much current flowing through it. So, so you there's some alternative ways of, uh, of uh, yep. powering it. I made, a, I made a controller, and I go into much detail about that in the technical episode. So we won't hear. Yes. <laughs> um, and so... Uh, so in the technical details, in the technical episodes, I've just mentioned I covered that bit, I can cover the controller. Um, I also discussed circuit separation because uh, preventing this type of thing happening is quite a good thing. Alright, so everything's still powered, so I suggest you go and squeeze the uh, koala paw. Alrighty. Da -da -da -da. I didn't press it right. Ah, uh, wrong one. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for that. Yep. <laughs> Or say the wrong one. What? <laughs> okay, keep, these keep, are pause. <laughs> keep, keep going. Or <laughs> say the wrong one. <laughs>
Yay! There we go. And you see now the computer's turned on, and in a moment we're going to see pretty stuff on the screen. And three, two, one, now, and a half. <laughs> there we go. I think probably we'll see. Oh, actually, hang on. No, now I'm going to put it up at the koala's eyes, and you will see the eyes glowing. Hopefully, I'm a fire and my laser. <laughs> What's that from? Oh God knows. And that's with hard disk and network activity going. So, yeah, if you've done something similar, um, we'd love to see it. Uh, we so would love to see those ones, because there's some really creative stuff going on there. I'm sure someone's has made, someone has made something very, you know, similar to a greater degree. Yep, very much. And uh, it's not a hard one to do. Um, the control is the hardest bit, but um, it's, not, it's not that intense. Um, so, yeah, stick it in a video response, and uh, any questions and... Uh, Congratulations or whatever is due. <laughs> no. Congratulations, you had the teddy bear, stuffed it and put bright little shiny lights in his eyes.